Hi, you guys. Okay, so welcome to Bead With Me. I'm Kay, your host. It is Wednesday. I like to call it Work It Wednesday so we can get motivated again. We started with a good start with Monday. And then here we are kind of on hump day. And so I like to work with you guys. So today I am getting hooked up onto Zoom. And so while we wait for a few people to join me, I'm going to help you get connected with me. So for those that are new, so welcome to the digital age. Okay, you guys. So Zoom is super, super easy. Okay, so download the app. Okay, we're going to kind of show you here. So hold on. So Zoom, the app looks a little bit like that. Okay guys so want to join me and actually work with me talk with me hang out with me and um i can show you the tips and techniques and just you know kind of shoot the breeze with you guys okay so um i'm hopping on if you guys are with me here and then i'm gonna do a little bit on here and then um and then we'll close out here and then go right into zoom So for me, I'm hosting, so it looks a little bit different. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the Zoom app. Super, super easy. Okay. You're going to click in and it's going to ask you to join a room. You're going to type in the ID. So if you look right in the comments down here um, in the information, it will have a set of numbers for you. I think it's uh, 11 numbers. Okay. So our meeting ID today, so you can hear it is 896-5004-9686, okay? So um, we're doing this weekly Wednesdays. Hello, that was a ding dong. Is anybody in here? Ding dong. I'm here. <laughs> hey, dude. All right, so um, let's see. Welcome. All right, let's check it out here. I'm going to hear. Let's use one of these guys. Let's pretend like we're in a room full of people. How that? <laughs> okay. And then. Uh, <laughs> yes. But you like that? You like that? We're going to kind of have a little fun. Well, I thought that would be appropriate. <laughs> right, so, hey. We're in the Zoom room. Okay, you guys, so I'm doing a little bit of both. So if you want to uh, join us, I'm doing um, a little bit of online. I'm doing a little bit of both here today and uh, trying to do a, a dual uh, videoing here. Okay, so right now I'm on Facebook Live here, Steve. So hang out with me. I was going to do a quick little talk on tools and kind of your basic tools that you need. Okay, I am into getting people pumped in into quick and easy projects, uh, things that um, we can make up quickly uh, and using very, very minimal stuff. Okay, so a lot of the things that I've been showing you in the last couple weeks have been using some very, very basic tools. And I figure in about three tools, you can make everything that I've been showing you guys. Okay, so these are those three tools here today. Okay, I thought I'd go over them really quick. Okay, um, plus a couple of little extra side ones. Um, and then uh, hop with me into Zoom and we can do some beating. Okay, so what I'm going to flip this camera around. Okay, and get you guys here. So, three basic tools. Boom. Okay, we're going to talk about. Cutters. All right, Steven, you get. Got you got cutters here, right? I take my cutters out. All right, I I think a very very helpful hint on cutters, guys, is to write a date 
in when you bought them. So if you're using them for flex wire, if you're using them for head pins, if you're using them for a multitude of things, then write the date on them. That way then you kind of know how old they are, however you want to mark them. Um, so that way then maybe you use your oldest ones first because as you are cutting, it does wear on these on these blades here, okay? So, um, how do you want to see? You can send me over, um, I'm, I'm just checking out the comments, you guys, as you, since we are live here, I don't um, want to miss anything, see if people are trying to connect. So glad to have you guys here. Pam, I just sent out your order, so you'll be getting that here soon. So thanks for joining me on Friday. And Stacy, you'll have to send me some pictures if you want to send me, um, send us a direct message. That way then we can um, hook up and connect and, and get those seed beads that we want and talk about what earrings uh, we can make with them. Okay, if you want to join into the Zoom room, um, that might be a good hot spot, and you can uh, show me what you have there, and we can play around a little bit. Okay, so back to basic tools. Okay, so we were talking about these cutters. I was t saying a helpful hint here is to put the date on them or put some kind of marking so that you know that they're newer, older, however you're, you know, categorizing them. That way then as they wear, you can use your oldest ones first, okay? Um, there are different grades of them. You know, I tend to use these uh, old school, you know, blue blue thread cutters because that's what I started with. And, you know, you can use get some fancy ones, but I kind of find, you know, I wear through them. They all kind of wear over time. And so I just get a new one and for as cheap as they are, get a, get a new pair and keep working through them, okay? And then there are the round nose, okay? So round nose we've been doing hard wire with here. Um, so we were wrapping this bale on yesterday with hard wire. Um, so round nose is great for that, okay? Round nose means that they are round all the way around, okay? And you'll see that these ones are skinnier here uh, than up here. Um, these particular ones uh, that we carry here in the shop, these are a fine tip, okay? I prefer the very, very narrow tip. That way I can get into those small spaces, okay? The next one here is going to be your... Uh, chain nose plier, okay? Um, this is the basic tool that everybody, you know, first timers coming in saying, oh, you know, I have my husband's, you know, pair, I'm gonna steal them from the garage, right? And uh, most of the time they're trying, one, they're huge, okay? <laughs> they're trying to grip like car parts and like heavy duty things, okay? We are working with oftentimes a lot delicate, small things, okay? So using those huge pieces are not particularly, you know, um, um, good for what we're uh, needing it for okay another thing is that the big big thing really is that these are smooth on the inside okay um, when we're crimping okay and when we're doing um, these crimp covers and stuff we don't want teeth here because then they're gonna start marking and marring our metal okay so a lot of those ones that are in the husband's tool set okay they are um, with teeth in there okay so those are the three basic tools. So a lot of the things and a lot of designs that I'm showing here online um, are using these three basic tools, okay? A couple extra tools that I will throw in there that I also think are good to have in the stash, okay, would be the crimping tool. You'll hear me uh, using that because oftentimes I want my crimps to be a bit smaller and to fit them into a crimp cover. So I will uh, oftentimes be using a crimping tool Okay, and there are videos on using, you know, these tools, okay? Another one, oftentimes uh, to get into using jump, uh, the jump rings, we discussed using a bent nose plier. So if you're using a chain nose and then a bent nose, that helps you be able to see where you're working a little bit better, okay? Another very helpful tool is gonna be these nylon jaws. Okay, these nylon jaws, if you have crinkly wire, okay, you got, you know, this all, all messed up to pieces and say, oh, I can't use that. And, you know, don't waste wire, okay? I know some, some of it's cheap, but if you're using sterling and stuff, and so what you do here is you're gonna, you're gonna sit and you're gonna kind of smooth this out. So if you're like a hair person, you know, think of this like a flattener, okay? And then you're going to 
And sometimes people like to do this and what happens is that they're hardening their wire as they do that. So if you're working with sterling, then it becomes a little bit stiffer. Okay, um, one of my ultimate favorites, you'll see me uh, using these a lot in the videos, is gonna be these narrow tip kind of chain nose. Okay, you can still get the leverage uh, on, on using these pliers. Okay, you can see that there's a long distance from the tip to the back here. Okay, so you can really get into all size beads, especially, this is when I use it the most, okay? Since I, I, I love wires, so I'm always wire wrapping a lot. And so to tuck in those little corners, okay? You'll find, okay, these can work, okay? And I know those look pretty narrow, but it just, for some reason, I find that the leverage in, of these ones are just bar none, okay? And I love Zeron, Zeron is a great company. Okay, so we, we carry a lot of their, their tools, okay? All right, those are the basic tools. All right, so thanks for joining me. Um, so today's bead with me is gonna really actually be beading with you, okay? So I was just doing a little bit of tool talk, going over some of the basic tools that I like to use, things that I really think you need to have in your stash if you, um, if you don't have a set, I've got them in my favorite purple, okay? We got some purple pliers. It has gonna, has all three of those basic pliers that we discussed, but it also is gonna include a, um, a flat nose, okay? So that one, if you can see up close, okay, is a little bit more squared, okay? If you like wire working, those are gonna be um, very, very handy in creating the bends that you like. Okay, we carry that in uh, $29.99. I'm gonna do Facebook Live here today for 25 bucks. Okay, so if you want to set, we'll get this out to you. This is going to be pickup only, okay? Don't want to ship this. <laughs> all right, um, for those that you have any questions, all right, so if you guys can hop with me, you'll see in the comments below here, you can hop onto our Zoom and uh, come play with me for a little bit longer. I'm going to have that room open for a couple hours, okay? You know, uh, I'm hanging out here in the store filling orders and taking phone calls and uh, answering your questions here on Zoom. So join me live. Uh, the information's right down below. And uh, join us. We're already on, actually. So I'm going to be headed over here. So thanks for joining me. And don't forget, you guys, um, we will be on again tomorrow at 2 p.m. And Friday night, we're doing Friday night live, 8 p.m. So grab a glass of wine, whatever you're drinking, uh, if you're not a drinker, and uh, join us for a debut. So again, I'm wearing some beautiful earrings by Miss Tanessa McLean. Fabulous lamp work artist. You guys, I'm also uh, in tomorrow's bead with me. I'm going to do a, um, a, a, let's see. We did an interview with her last October when we carried her things and we it just went superbly. And so although she can't, uh, although we can't have it here in person, we're going to be debuting it live on Friday. But I'd like you to get a, a behind the scenes on how beads are made and how labor intensive they are. And we had a great interview with her and I will be posting that up doing a Facebook watch um watch thing i don't know what they call it but uh watching the video from that uh tomorrow okay so that way we get pumped up for friday getting uh getting a t look at her things okay so thanks for joining me it was a um it's gonna be a great day it's beautiful out there join me on zoom see you later see you tomorrow or in a few minutes have a great day thanks